good morning and thank you so much for taking the next few moments out of your Sunday service to hear about what's been happening in your local area through Warrington Youth for Christ. Well, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Hannah and I am the Cultureth Worker. So I work in partnership with Cultureth Methodist Church I work in Culture High School and I do various community and detached projects in the local community. A few months ago, in March, as you're aware, everything changed. The whole way in which Youth for Christ worked completely transferred to online. This came with its challenges, but I'm so thankful that God has given us social media as such a platform to still being able to witness to young people. For some young people, social media isn't a happy place. It's a place of comparison, low self-worth, low body image, peer pressure, cyberbullying, all these things, it can be a dark place. And as a team, we are so thankful that through those months, we were still able to speak God's light into some of the darkest areas during the most difficult times of young people's lives. One of our missions at Warrington Youth for Christ is to meet young people where they're at. And we as a team are so thankful that when this country went into lockdown, we were still able to continue to support young people right where they're at in the place that they've spent the majority of their time on their mobile devices. So here is a short snippet of what we've been up to the past few months. Enjoy. Music Monday, it's Tell a Story Tuesday, Wisdom Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Fun and Games Friday. Hi guys, so what, how are you doing with self-isolation? How do you feel when you hear the phrase going back to normal? I started to say to myself, you know, what is life all about? This week is Mental Health Awareness Week. What do you want to be when you grow up? We should love each other, respect each other. Some great tips for getting good sleep. What are you thankful for? Jesus said that he had come to give life and to life in all its fullness. In the Bible, there's some really incredible advice. Why am I a Christian? Twenty twenty has been a challenging year, to say the least. Right at the beginning of this COVID period and the lockdowns and the school closures and everything that went with that, we decided as a team that we would pray together every morning for thirty minutes of every day of the week, and we've been doing that for the last six, seven months. God has really answered prayer and come through for us. We've seen new schools open up to us that we've never worked in previously. We've seen financial blessing. We really thought we might be in trouble, but actually God's been faithful there. We've seen a couple of grants come through that have helped cover any shortfalls and gaps. Before the schools reopened in September, all our ministry went online. We were doing mentoring online. We were doing our after school fresh clubs online, encouraging those young people that we'd worked with before to continue on in their faith. For those who were being mentored, our staff were literally a lifeline, helping them and encouraging them, supporting them with many issues that they were facing over that period. We're now back in the high schools and staff are asking our, our staff to get alongside the students. So mentoring's exploded. 
virtually every member of the team are getting alongside young people, helping them work through some of their issues. Certainly things that they encountered over that lockdown time uh, are coming out now. And so to have someone there that can support them, listen to them, give them some godly sound advice is pivotal really at this time. Surprisingly, two new schools have just recently been in touch with us, schools that we've not previously worked in, asking us to do virtual assemblies for their students. So we're able to serve those schools and a door's opening now to get more resources in. And with the uncertainty of things going forward, as a team, we've decided to retain our online presence, as well as doing the face-to-face -face interactions with young people in school settings and detached work. We want to be there for our young people wherever they're at, whether they're stuck at home or whether they're in school or in the local community. We're currently doing an online short course called The Way. And it's just an introduction really to the Christian faith. Who is God? Why did Jesus die for us? Who is the Holy Spirit? Bringing young people on a journey online to a place where they can accept the Lord for themselves. It's really exciting for us and we'd ask if you would stand with us in prayer to pray for those young people who really want to see salvation. Things have been hindered this year. We've not been able to do some of the mission weeks in school and outside of school, some of the events that we would normally run where we'd see hundreds of young people hearing the gospel and many of those young people responding to. So we want to give them that opportunity online. So please do stand with us and pray as we take young people on that journey of faith. And as we go forward in school and out of school, our mandate still remains. We want to see young people's lives changed by Jesus. We're still continuing with our social media platforms, but more recently, things have also begun to look a little bit normal. I started working back at Culture High School, which was such an answer to prayer. So thank you so much for all of you who've held that in prayer and continue to do so. In the high school, I am doing weekly mentoring sessions, as well as starting the debate club back up for year eight students only. This is such a great time to build on those relationships and to open the conversation up about God and faith. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who's continued to support and pray and encourage this work in culture. Please do continue to pray for us as youth workers, for wisdom, for guidance, and for those young people that we're working with who are struggling with the aftermaths of all of this. Please pray for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.